Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing, Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our Divine Feminines, okay? So DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get out because this reading right now is not for you, sir, okay? It is not for you. Now, I hope that you ladies are doing well, and in the event that you are not, I pray we can transmute that energy here and now for your benefit and the benefit of all those involved, all right? Let us go ahead and jump into this reading, you all. Let us see what the messages are. Please do keep in mind it is a general reading, all right? Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. In the event that it's not your reading, that's okay. Just go and check out another one of the readings here on the channel or another reader in general, okay? <clears throat> Thank you. Always keep in mind there's new people coming in, y'all. So you don't have to do the most, okay? So let us see. We have seduction. Okay, seduction here. The runner, the runner was seduced, honey. Addiction. Woo. Woo. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Not enough, honey. They didn't feel like they were enough. And there were addictions that they were struggling with. They were seduced by someone around them. This person stabbed them in the back. And it's kind of giving what goes around comes around. That's what it's giving. We have seduction. It says attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. All right. The runner right after that. So I'm definitely going with they hooked up with someone who they were tempted by. <clears throat> um, attractive people are everywhere. That doesn't mean that you have to allow yourself to indulge. You know what I mean? Into whatever activities with these attractive individuals. Okay. So the runner ran right into a codependent relationship. It says runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Okay. Ego would tell them they can do as they please. Okay. And this, this is true. You can do as you please. All right. This is not, this is not a joke, but where it ends up going. Well, okay. You get what I'm saying? It may not be a joke, but some of you may find it just a little bit funny. Just a little bit. That's kind of petty. I am picking up on that, er that energy though. You do find it a little bit funny because what goes around comes around. It's never, ever, ever not going to be like that. <laughs> That's just the laws of the universe. You get what I'm saying? So I'm getting this person struggle with addiction or addictions with an S on it. You can slap a Z on it for Ebonic purposes, <laughs> but it definitely feels like they were struggling a little bit here, okay? And you guys know the type of empath, okay, that you're dealing with here. So I'm going to channel what I feel. And what I feel is I'm trying to be as serious as I can be because I, Blue, Kianti Ashe, take this very serious. Whoever I'm channeling for right now, you find this to be a little, just a little funny. Not the addictions, not the things they struggle with, but just the fact that this person had you feeling the way you were feeling because this is one point how you were feeling spirit said like you're not enough and you were heartbroken because you're like wait a minute you get what I'm saying it's like somebody opened you up <clears throat> somebody opened you all the way up just then be like oh no you know what I mean and it made you feel like well damn is what I have to offer just not enough for you you know it made you feel like is what you have to offer, what you have to give, just not good enough, okay? For lack of better words right now. So with addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or strength. So they, they got with a person who, well, aside from addictions and things that I feel like they struggled with because that's one of the things that came up that's why I said that to me is just not funny it won't ever be funny you know things that people struggle with or whatever um however <laughs> I feel like the divine counterpart went and got with someone and and now this energy they're like 
draining your divine counterpart of their energy. They're draining them. They're draining them. They went from this like high energy to like a uh, zombie. Because this person is obsessive, they're possessive, they're controlling. And now they feel like they're not enough because the person is always demanding more, always needing more, always wanting more. It's like, dang, is what I'm giving you not enough? Now they're made to feel how they made you feel. Is what I'm doing not enough? Is who I am not good for you? Is that how you feel? Right? And so <clears throat> now they're frustrated in this relationship. And now their confidence has been tampered with. And now that ego that they were listening to, you know, they're struggling with it because they're like, well, if this is what my ego gets me, then... I don't want to make ego-based decisions, ego-led decisions. You get what I'm saying? So now they're heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad. They feel separated and lost from you. You know, they're mourning the loss of you, mourning the loss of whatever you guys had or whatever. Okay. So it says heartbreak, pain, separation, double emphasis on that deception, shocking attack. Okay, so for some of you, this came as a complete shock to you. It's like news to you when you heard about it. You get what I'm saying? And now whatever is going on with them, whatever they're dealing with, it's like shocking news to them that, you know, this is the case. Yeah, we have third wheel and we have pop up. So I feel like there's a plot twist. There is a plot twist. All right. So let us see what's going on. Yeah, we have on lock. All right. Yeah. So they are going through it right now all right the runner the one who ran from you let us see what we got what do we have we have without a doubt oh wow yep okay so i feel like they're sending you telepathy to communicate express how it is they're feeling a lot of you this is confirmation because of maybe dreams you've had or other readings you've gotten or Whatever the case may be, your own intuition, first and foremost, honey. But they ran away from this spark, away from this soul connection, this gut feeling that they had that you were a perfect match for them, to this other energy, this other person. Yeah, and they did it in a very public way because it says viral. Everybody knows this and that. A lot of you could have had people known about them. Which is humiliating, by the way. Right? What do we have? Yeah, we have faded. So they eat, they drink and smoke a lot, or they drink a lot, smoke a lot, party a lot, whatever it is. Now, different cultures do different things. It is what it is, right? But I feel like um, too much of anything can be a bad thing, right? A celebration, an event, or whatever it is, it's a different situation versus somebody just doing this every day, all day, all the time, because, you know, living la vida loca. Like, nah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm -mm. If this person has been acting suspicious, this is why they're not themselves. They're being drained of their energy. Meanwhile, a lot of you have had this glow up, and now that you've had this glow up and you've shifted your priorities, and things for you have changed and you're like mastering or you've mastered law of attraction this person is like am i even good enough for you now you get what i'm saying so once again it's like kind of like the roles flipped or the tables turned or it's something like that going on here what goes around comes around like i said and then we have entanglement confess reveal true feelings so now the person they you know they love you now i feel like they always loved you but the love clearly wasn't strong enough for them to not run away. So, I mean, that made you feel like it was unrequited, right? And now the person is like, hey, let's come back. Let's resolve. Yeah, we got mask fish. So a lot of you 
this person has come back, right? And maybe they haven't said anything. They haven't said like, oh yeah, this is what's going on or this is what's happened. They haven't said anything because why would they? It's kind of embarrassing. Like I said, for those of you who were humiliated due to people haven't known about them, something you feel in your gut, you're excited about. It's a spark. You never felt it before. It's like a person who sees fireworks for the very first time. They're going to be excited, you know, depending, of course, if they're sensitive to certain things or not, you know, <laughs> so use your discernment, but go with the flow. All right. They're going to be excited to see it. And I'm like, wow, look at this beautiful sight. You know, this beautiful, amazing feeling I've never had before. A lot of you shared that feeling with one of or some of the closest people to you. And so this person running into an opposite direction involving other people, well, I mean, they disconnected. And you shifted your priorities. And now they come back wearing this mask. Not showing you all of their feelings or not telling you everything disguise okay false identity it's like now they have to go by someone else because they're around this person that's draining the energy out of them they're not even able to be the person they were meant to be they were supposed to go through this glow up too and i'm not whatever use your discernment <clears throat> And so a lot of them being around you, um, talking to you or anything like that is going to give them a little bit of energy and make them feel like, okay, let me get back on my, you know what I mean? Let me get back on my square. Let me do what it is that I have to do here. Okay. So Underline the energy of this deck is new message, interested, secret admirer. So this person, yeah, they're just not telling you how they feel about you, but they definitely feel it. They're embarrassed. They ran from some things. Now they, it's like they have to sit in heartbreak. This person is mourning. They're hurting. They're sad. And they're hiding this behind this mask. They're hiding this behind being high, being drunk, partying and disconnecting, whatever other bad habits and addiction they have going on here. They're doing all of that. I mean, it could be anything, pills, powder, any goddamn thing. You know what I mean? It's like they just went so far down that rabbit hole that now it's like so hard to come back to you, even though they want to. You know what I mean? Um. Wow. Okay, so let us... Let us see. All right. Well, spirit is in favor of this union, y'all. So let's see what happens because we got the will of fortune and we have the four of wands. So spirit is in favor of the twins coming together. Of course, this is uh, when I say it's a match made in heaven. I'm not just saying it. <laughs> I'm serious. Right. So we have the six of swords and we have the will of fortune. All right, spirit is like, this is who I want it to be. Hello? And that's just what it is. And us as people, we do what we want to do a lot of the time. And look, the moon and the seven of swords, this person is not telling you. Because they feel like if they tell you the truth, you remember how in the beginning where it was like a little funny? You guys are going to think it's a little funny. Because what goes around comes around. Right? And they don't want that. They don't want you to think it's funny. But the reality is just a little bit. Just a little. Bit. Not a lot. Like, you know, <laughs> not enough as to where it could change anything. <laughs> but it's funny, though, because they won't express themselves. So I feel like that's what they're starting to realize. They're like, okay. It's not hilarious to feminine as to where feminine is like never going to deal with me again because they think I'm a clown. You know what I mean? But it is funny to feminine because it's like, well, you live and you learn. But until this or unless this person comes to you, Knight of Swords, and speaks truth, which they clearly know they have to do because the Knight of Swords is knowing exactly what needs to be done and then going on that mission to get it done get her done and that's it 
So with the Eight of Cups, it's emotional withdrawal. They're afraid that, you know, if they don't, well, you're going to emotionally withdraw from them. And they're correct because Seven of Wands is them having to defend this love or um, I heard defend your honor, but not necessarily. <laughs> it's more so um, speaking their truth, standing up for what they want, being direct. different things like the games and all that mm -mm. the three of cups energy and all that mm -mm. you guys are not off it if that's what they want to do then they can do that but you're not accepting anything other than the single cup you get what i'm saying like their cup your cup not like it's a two of cup thing ain't no three of cup you get what i'm saying you no know, your cup their cup this cup that no it's none of that going on because then it's going to stay distance between you and you're going to cut them off and this is now two swords here Right, because we have this. Well, this is a sword and this is a knife, but you get the point. This person definitely feels stabbed because they like you, they want to talk to you with this coffee cup here, you know. But they feel like they were charmed, they feel like they were charmed by a narcissist, and now all they can do is watch you from afar, you know, or be on the outside looking in. That's it. Because I mean, it's either speak their truth and see what happens. Or just be at a standstill. Either way, they're not thinking it's going to end well for them. So we got the moon in reverse. That's the truth. That's the mask coming off. So we got the queen of swords. I feel like a lot of you already know this. Of course you do. Excuse me. Why wouldn't you? You already know this. And you look at it like at the end of the day, if what you want to do is that, then do that. Right? Because you're just going to keep moving forward. You're not fighting. You're not arguing. You're not doing anything low vibrational because you've raised your vibration at this point in your life. So you're not doing anything that's going to cause you to go backwards by any means. And I feel like that's the, the final decision for you, feminine. You know, that's where you stand. The five of cups is like in reverse. So you're not going backwards. You're not about to sit in remorse. You're not about to reminisce over the past. You're not about to cry over spilled milk. You're not doing it. If it's not going down, it's not going down. You know what I mean? Um, if they want to wear the mask, you're going to let them wear the mask. And this is how the energy has been coming up a lot lately. Because you guys are ready for the masculines to speak up. You're ready for them to take action. You know, for those of you whose masculines have been speaking up, you're just ready for them to actually do something. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is like, for example, right? With the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Cups in reverse, I feel like the masculine does not has not spoken up on certain things like i said and if they don't you're just going to release them the chariot you're just going to move forward it just keeps saying the same thing so i see this person coming in to reconcile with you wanting to apologize wanting to make things right but i feel like a lot of you if you have the communication block right now unblock the person because they're trying to call you they want to tell you what's been going on the Ten of Cups in reverse, it has not been a happy time. It has not been a good time. And this is something they want to discuss with you. They want to really dig deeper into the details. So we'll do that over on the Patreon right after this. All right. But with this Empress here, they are very much so aware of who their Divine Feminine is. So we're going to go ahead over there and see what this person's next actions are towards you. All right. Because apparently they want to come towards you. But if they don't take the necessary steps you're going to be moving forward okay that's what i see here you're going to be moving forward so if this was your video or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and haggery <laughs>